Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. So hopefully this video isn't going to be as boring as the last one with all the just setting and chatting in the floor talking about wiring. So in this video, we're going to be getting all the wiring hooked back up into this truck. We've got to stuff a bunch of stuff into the dash. We've got to get a bunch of stuff out here. We're just going to grab a hold of that wiring and go ahead and jump on into it. All right, we're going to get started with going ahead and cramming some of this wiring into this dash here. And you see we got the gauges out already. And we pulled out the radio and the AC. Just go ahead and get everything out and open it up because you're going to have to be fishing your arms through there. We're going to leave all that wiring in there to the old truck, like I said in the previous videos, because we're using it all. All right, got the AC box hanging down a little bit there. So what we're going to do, once you guys get all that opened up, we're going to jump back to, I think this is the very first section that we did in the last video that we narrowed down. Uh, it goes in the car, in the truck, just like you see right here. All that's going to be in the dash. This is going to come down. Uh, these are going to plug into over by the firewall somewhere in there with the other stuff. And then, But this has to come down and go under the seat. We're going to mount that under the seat. However you need to get it there. Just route that stuff. This is your power, power steering control module right here. Um, we need to have it just tucked away in there. This comes down and plugs in with something that comes through the firewall. Um, that one right there, we've got it labeled. It plugs into the top of your AC box. You can see in there, yep, that little, uh, it's going to plug in the top there. There's not a lot of things that plug in from that in here. So it's pretty just self-explanatory, man. I don't know what the heck this thing is. I can't remember. I didn't label it, but we've got it there. So it looks like the only thing that's going to plug up in behind the dash is going to be that to your air box. We're going to come around. That goes to your brake pedal. Not sure if we even need to use that stuff. Uh, haven't made it that far yet, but I always plug it in anyways. These right here go into the driver's side kick plate. So yeah, let's get all that and cram it in there, man. All right, so I'm just gonna come on in and we're gonna try to fish this stuff in with all this other stuff. So I'm gonna go, there's a metal thing right here that goes where, uh, behind where your gauges go. I'm gonna try to run this in behind it because we got a lot of wiring to run in this thing. Okay, I'm gonna unhook this power steering control module for now, we'll plug that back up. Don't forget, it's uh, by the plug that's next to that little AC box. So you wanna watch out for your windshield wiper control arms. They're up in here. And you don't want your wires to get tangled up in them. So once we get it all done, I'll zip tie real good tight into this metal thing. That way we know it's not gonna get caught up. Urgh, golly, it's so freaking tight in there. Okay, this big chunk of wiring right here is um, stock wiring from the truck. This is, we're going to put a hole through the firewall there, and we'll run this grommet through. And then this end is what goes up to your passenger side headlight, except for this little chunk right here is what we need to make sure we run to a battery positive. That's what makes everything in your truck work. We'll stuff it out of the way for now. We'll get, all, we'll get to all that stuff when we get the truck part done. Making our way up in here. All right, we've made it to the part where your blower motor actuator can plug in now. So we'll go ahead and tear that tape off. We know where it goes. And boom, we've got our first plug plugged back up to the truck. Okay, this right here. Again, I don't know what the heck this thing went to. It's probably not gonna get plugged up to anything. Okay, this right here is our uh, power steering control module. All right, and we've got the other wires coming down here. Um, this one's going to go to a plug that comes through the firewall. Same thing with all this stuff right here. That gets plugged in later. We'll set it to the side. This is your radio antenna wire. All right, yeah, so man, got that part knocked out. Got that plug in. We'll work our way back on down here to everything that we've got hanging out still. Okay, so this one chunk of wiring is to the one that plugs into everything that was alongside the firewall over here. Ow, sheesh, that hurt. All right, we'll pull that down and we'll reorganize some more of this stuff later. We're just trying to get it all in place right now. And of course, this has got to come down. This is our transmission module. Okay, we might end up putting that transmission control module up in here in the dash also, if it will work. I don't know. 
if it will or if it won't but uh, we may try that instead of running it under the carpet and having a big hump in the floor and then we've got our ground right here we're going to need to ground something but we may end up running all that up in the dash we'll just set it right here for now and we'll figure that out later all right this is the big mess right here this is the big old pile of wires and honestly i don't know if we already needed even need half of this crap I'm trying to figure out the best way to fish this son of a gun through there because that was kind of tight with that skinny one and this one's huge all right so we only need to get from here down all this stuff's going to stay on this side here all right, you see we got most of that crammed into the dashboard there. That was quite a bit of work. That is a that is a big pile of wires to get fitted in there and to make it look nice and clean. But you see we've got them in there looking nice and clean, tucked away. See everything's tucked in behind that right there. Nothing's going to get hit by the windshield wiper arm. We checked all that. So, um, you know, there were two sections that we put in here, right? There was the first section and then the second section. They're going to click into each other. So the three plugs that you had on this firewall over here in the Crown Vic that went on that little plastic thing go into these three wires right here that came in from the other one. So we'll plug those together. We're almost going to be able to tuck all this stuff together and cram it up there. We're going to get rid of all that stuff except for, you know, this one right here that's going to go through the firewall. We're going to cut a hole in right there and we'll run that through the firewall and that'll go out and up and plug into the top of the AC box. So yeah, just go through here and start figuring out what goes into what. Like this is going to go to something that comes from outside, I think. And then all those we're going to um, put to a ground. So I like to tuck up. When I get all these plugged up, I bring them and I tuck them up in here and clean it up out of the way behind the glove box. And we'll grind down a spot over here somewhere and do all of our grounds into there. Okay, I'm not sure how good you can see, but... Uh, Let's see, we'll take these right here and unwind them. And we'll try to get this up as clean as we can get it. And you know what, guys? You see this big plug here, too? Man, that thing plugs right into that. So that's cleaning up everything, actually, right here. I think it plugs into that. Oh, yeah, it plugs into that. We'll tighten that down with a 10 millimeter. Or I got these nearby. Okay, we've got that. We'll pull these grounds out right here. We'll get all these and plug these back in. It's pretty simple, guys. They're color, colored, you know, gray to gray, black to black, white to white. They will not plug in to another one. If you try to put the gray into the white or the black into the gray, they won't fit in like that. They'll only fit into their own plugs. So we'll get these grounds. We want to make sure we keep up with these. Those are going to need to be grounded to the firewall. But... You see this whole pile of wires that was down here on the floor? Man, that's gonna be gone. We're gonna have it hit up here in the dash. This is gonna go through the firewall. So this is really cleaning up a lot of this right here. What's this last plug right here go to? This one says passenger plug one. So possibly something's gonna come through the firewall and plug into this. We'll set it to the side. But for now, we're gonna join all this stuff together that way we'll have it up out of the way. I'm going to pull these grounds on back some. And you can take the time to make this look a little bit cleaner if you want to for your truck. Um, in my opinion, this is pretty dang clean. Nobody's ever going to be up in the, in the dash and can see all that. Alright, I'm going to take some zip ties. Just kind of clean this stuff up in here. That way a lot of stuff's not just flopping around. Which I doubt it's going to flop around anyways. I've got it all crammed pretty tight okie dokie we got those holes in the firewall you see right there it's come through they're all plugged to each other and when you look from here they're tucked up there and hidden away that's how it's going to be look nice and clean and then here on the front i just did those little holes below the air box there so it's nice and clean and we don't have any wires coming out the top right here so those are going to come from the bottom we'll clean this up a little bit more but it plugs into that blower motor and then everything's going to kind of disappear and come in clean. And then we're going to have it taped up and run down this frame rail right there. So we've got several things plugged in. We got the big piece that went to the front. We have the big wiring harness right here that went to this front clip up in here. I went ahead and started plugging some stuff in because this end right here is what went through that firewall. So this right here is running up and that's into that firewall and plugged up and some of the other ends went ahead and plugged into this air stuff. So that end is plugged up there. This right here is just draped around and we'll just kind of pull it around and start plugging in stuff. All 
Ah, uh, maybe we'll catch him on the way back. All right, we caught him. Do a burnout for us. Ah, oh, come on, Cody. Uh oh, I think I hear him coming back. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> I like that thing so loud. All right, guys, welcome back this morning. We're back to working on Chucky's truck Monday morning. I'm a little excited this morning. I got a couple new toys to play with. I got, uh, got a new mic. Hopefully that'll help you guys hear me a little bit better and cut out some of that wind sound. And I got a new, uh, not a new camera, but I got that DJI uh, OM6, whatever that is. It's like a gimbal thing. It's pretty cool. It actually will follow me around. It's got the active track on it. I don't have that. I can't figure that part out on the front side of the camera yet. But uh, on the inside of the camera, I'll, I, got, I got it figured out on that. It'll follow me around. I think that is pretty cool. It's almost like having a cameraman for free. All right, so back to where we were. Got all these wires in here. These are our grounds. We're going to get those. Chucky's are going to be coming Friday to hang out with us and uh, see what we got going on. Hopefully, we'll have it running by then for him. What do we got on this side over here? Kind of forgot where we where we left off. Hopefully, that helps my phone angle a little bit too. Some of you guys said that it was a little too shaky or I moved around too fast with the camera sometimes. So, uh, figure maybe upgrading that would help help y'all a little bit or help my videos look a little better to y'all. When I first started making these videos, I didn't realize that so many people were going to be watching the video. So I thought just the normal, just grab my cell phone and shoot with it was good enough. And that was good enough for a few little views. But now there's actually a bunch of you guys that are watching my videos and uh, I figured I'd upgrade a little bit, maybe make the quality better for y'all. All right, what the heck are we doing this morning? What the heck are we doing this morning? I think all this is going to go, this is what we got to run to our ignition to get it to crank over. Fuse box is good. We don't need to mess with nothing on that. We need to cut our hole for uh cut our hole in the firewall for this big plug. So I guess we need to go around to the front and figure out how we're gonna lay out that uh lay out our computer box that's gonna go in the front firewall. Alright, so I got this thing on follow mode now. That's pretty cool. Watch. So I go down and it follows me. It's like having a real dang cameraman. Check this out. I'm gonna go over here. Follows me around as I walk. Pretty cool, man. I'm excited about that new tool. Pretty cool. Check this out. I'm gonna psych it out. You ready? Oh, pretty good. That thing's quick. Oh, pretty quick, man. I like that thing. Pretty cool. You guys should check that out. All right, so let's quit messing around and get back to work. I'll show you guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> nah, that thing's pretty quick. All right, so let's get down here and get to work. I can't figure out how to get it to follow me around on the front side of the camera, but uh, I'm still new to it. On the front facing side, it'll follow me around, but if I point it facing out, it has better quality. But I can't get it to follow me around that way. I'm sure I'm just doing something wrong. Sheesh, I'm out of breath now from juking out that camera. All right. Um, so we're probably going to mount this somewhere right in here. These two right here, I think, go to our emergency brake. All right, so this right here is the template that we're going to need. Let's see how I can do this by myself. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'm probably just take it and mash on there. It'll give me the outline that I need. Think that worked? Oh, heck yeah, man. Look, can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. Give us a perfect little outline. I'm just gonna trace that real quick. All right, we've got our shape. Let's head on back in. All right, we've got our template now. We just need to figure out where to lay out this stuff. It looks like probably this emergency brake, I think. Can you still see me? Yeah. You might lose me once I lean in. But I think our emergency brake bolts are in the way of where we're going to try to put our computer right there. So uh, we're going to take that emergency brake out. We're not going to need it anyways. Does it still follow me or did it lose me? I think it lost track. Sorry, guys. I'm still new to this thing. We'll get it figured out, though. I promise we're going to make the quality a little bit better for you guys. This mic's already got me feeling like a dang professional in here.
Alrighty guys, back with an update on this wiring. You can see we've got a lot accomplished already. We've got that whole front clip back on. Wasn't going to bore you with all that stuff. You've seen me do it a few times. Uh, so where we left off, we had this clip off. All the wiring to this front was wrapped around the front right there and laying on the ground. Uh, all we did was kind of just draped it around and plugged it in where it went, man. You know, like I was saying, there's uh, it can only plug in to where it'll plug into. And plus, if you labeled everything, then you're good. So we had the two holes drilled in the firewall right there and the wiring came out. Uh, most of that one plugged into this air box. Remember that? All right. And then the other one comes and it goes and it comes into our, uh, we've got our little fuse box mounted in right here. Uh, all the wiring kind of comes up and goes up to that. And then there's a wire for, that goes from that over to the battery. That's what that red one is right there. We probably could have cleaned it up a little bit more. But anyway, I don't know why my phone keeps going blurry. I'm working with a new camera and a new mic set up, trying to make it better for you guys. And I'm struggling, man, a little bit with this technology. Uh, I have recorded several clips already and went to upload them, and all the sound was just completely gone. Disappeared into the mic. I don't know where the heck it was. But we're still fiddling around, trying to make it better for everyone. Uh, we got all this wiring that runs across right here. That's going to be that big part that came across the front of the, came across the front that was laying on the ground right there. It went to the front of the Crown Vic. And it loops around and it comes into the firewall there. And then I showed you where we made that template from the Crown Vic. That's for that one right there. We just cut the hole in and then the plug comes from the inside and the dash comes in right there. And then this goes into it and, and it, there's like a little 10 millimeter on there. Squeezes them together into the firewall there. Um, we've got our computer in. All the wiring that goes to it, it's just ran, you see there, along the frame, comes up. We're going to put our battery box there. I like to do my battery box up in the front. You can relocate yours anywhere you want. But, um, you know, for, for our bagging situation, our tires are going to be tucked up and moving in the way. And this is the closest we can kind of get it out of the way. I've had good success with putting it right there. So we've got that in our fuse box right there. All right, that microphone and that camera thing is just giving me too much trouble. Guys, I'm back to my normal filming for right now. Sorry, I can't get that junk figured out. Maybe I'll do a little bit more research tonight, see if I can figure out what's going on. But the mic just keeps giving me trouble. Every clip I keep filming, it's deleting my audio. Or if it does have the audio, it just sounds like crap, man. And then the camera that came with it. This is supposed to be an expensive setup, by the way. The camera that came with it every time. You see how good my camera looks here? In my opinion, I think this looks pretty good and smooth, at least on my end. Um, the camera that came with the kit, every time I put my hand in front of something, it blurry at the whole background or it just, it was really choppy and weird, man. So sorry, man, I'm trying for you guys, but just to move forward, I'm going back to what I'm used to. All right. We've got all of our wiring and stuff crammed up in the dash here. You can see how good this looks. So you can't see any of the wiring from the Crown Vic. It's right here. Got it behind that piece. Fits in really well. These are our two plugs for our gauges. You're going to need that for your Crown Vic gauges. This is the plug to your um, your old F100 gauges. You're not going to need that. And then we got the wiring sticking out here. This goes to our AC controls. This is the wiring to your stock radio. We've got the cigarette lighter poking down here. And you can see all the air box stuff right there with all the controls. We're going to get that covered up like that. It'll look really good. The only wiring we got hanging out here is the stuff from the stock F100. That goes up to the headlights. And then we've got this little plug right here that goes, remember, to the main battery. That's going to control all of our lights and all of our functions from the F100. You can see down the floor we've got a couple little wires. Those are the ones that are running in slash out um, to all of our stuff. It's coming in, going up here. It's tucked away really good. I mean, that's about the best we're going to be able to get it, guys. Uh, so I did do a little test start on it yesterday just to make sure all of our wiring was good and we didn't have no grounds off or anything like that. And uh, she turns over, the battery was dead, so we didn't get a lot of- Okay, battery's a little weak, but we're gonna give it a test turn. Hold it closer to the engine so you can hear it. Got dead battery, but we got juice. Juice, I got a battery dropped off this morning. We're about to hook that up there, and we're going to kind of fiddle with the uh, the ignition today. I want to get it turning uh, on the F100 ignition. I've done that once before. Sure, wish I would have videoed that because I'd like to I'd like to have that info today. This is your fuse box. We're going to have that. It's going to be tucked away up in here. It's going to look good. It's just dangling for now. But yeah, that's the plan for right now. We're going to work on. So we're going to take out we're going to take out our ignition right here. And pull that out and get it down here so we can mess with it and we're only going to need you've got all these wires right here that we're going to this um, steering column you don't need none of that we're just going to need the one from this block right here it's got an eight millimeter in it zip that thing out and uh, we'll go from there 
All right, we're gonna start by getting this thing here. You just twist this. If it's too tight, put your little flat head in there and tap that son of a gun. Get that son of a gun spinning there for you. All right, we'll take that off the rest of the way. And uh, so I've got a picture I'll post up right here somewhere, somewhere right in there. I'll post that picture up and it is the, uh, it's the wiring diagram that I found online that I used for Corey's truck. Some of the wiring colors are a little bit different, but you, but we were able to get it figured out. So now that we got that off, let's go ahead and try to get this thing shoved out of the back. Alrighty, we got it pulled out, we got it set up here. That way we can get to our wiring. So now we'll go look at that picture and we're going to join some of these wires with some of those wires. I'm going to pull some of this tape back first so we can see what we got going on. All right, we've got our wiring from our truck here. Some of these are kind of faded and it's hard to tell, but we're just gonna, I'm gonna go off this first list of stuff that I've got and see if that'll make it turn over. Hopefully it does. I posted up on the screen already that wiring diagram. So if you guys wanna go ahead and jump in on that and give it a try. So I'm just gonna cut all the ones out from this and show that we're gonna need. So it looks like from the Vic, we're going to need the white, the yellow, the white with the yellow line on it. It's that one. We're going to need the red with the blue line. Okay, we need the green. Okay, it looks like there's two greens. I don't know which one we're going to need. We'll take them both. We might need them both. Actually, actually, it's just one. So both of those jump into one. So if you wanted to eliminate one of these, you can. You don't need both of those. So we'll go ahead and cut one of those out of there. We'll make sure we tape that in back up real good. Looks like we're gonna need the tan and the black right here. The gray with the yellow, pink with black, and then we need the black with the green. Now out of this big wiring harness that goes to your steering column with your blinkers, uh, everything. You, you don't need none of that stuff. We're just gonna need these few wires right here. So we can just stuff those to the side for right now. We're gonna go ahead and clean up this end where we cut that off. Okay, I noticed while untaping that, we actually got two gray with a yellow line on there. And that may jump up into one again up in there, I don't know. We'll keep untaping back. And yeah, it looks like I was right. That, that gray with the yellow that had two, it splits into two of them also. So we can go just like the green, we'll cut one of those out. We'll tape that up. So how many wires are we going to have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You should have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we've got all them trimmed back now. We'll just twist them up real good so they're not all frayed out everywhere. All right, that's sticky as heck. All right, so now we just want to start joining these son of a guns together. So if you look at that list, we'll just start with the top one. The yellow went to the red and green. So we're going to take, let's see, the, oh sorry, 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 the white with the yellow line goes to the red and the green. So the white with the yellow line from the Crown Vic is going to go to the F100 red and green line. Alright, we've got that one taped up. Now the next wire is going to be the red and blue from the Crown Vic to the red and blue here on this ignition. It's crazy how some of these old wirings match up the same. In fact, here in a little bit, we're going to connect the black and the green to the black and the green. All the wiring's still the same from 03 all the way back to 69 on this truck. Just strip that back a little bit. You guys can connect this however you want. Some people will want to go in here and solder everything up or get some different type of connectors. But this works good. There's plenty of things under here that are electrical taped already. So you're not going to hurt nothing by using a little bit of electrical tape. Okay, we got that one. Next color is going to be green to yellow. So this big green going into this big yellow right here. Let's go in like that. Alright, so I used this same wiring method on, uh, on Corey's truck, and Corey's truck is in 1979. I know a lot of these diagrams say um, the years vary, and they do. I've seen some different uh, wire coloring on some of them, but we got lucky, and so you might get lucky also. From apparently 68 to 79, 
some of them have this same wiring. Where the heck that green go? There it is. Green go. All right, twist them son of a guns together. They're two big thickies. Make sure they're going to be connected real good. Connect them real good. All right, let's see the next one. Tan and black to violet. All right. Got a violet here. It's kind of a dark purple. In my opinion, I almost didn't recognize it as a violet. I thought it was black earlier. Okay, so it was the tan and black that went to that. The gray with the yellow line from the Crown Vic is now, okay. So we're gonna take this pink with the black line from the Crown Vic. These are all from the Crown Vic. Pink with the black line, green with the black line, and the gray with the yellow line. Now all those are gonna be twisted together. Then you're gonna take those three and we're gonna get this uh, black with the green line from the F100. And we're gonna jump it into, into that one. That's a big old mound of wires right there getting all those twisted together. All right, so we got all that kind of wired up in there like we think it's gonna work. Not 100% sure if it's gonna work. This is only my second time trying that. But uh, we're gonna jump up this battery, hook up this battery real quick to it, give it a little crank over and see if that worked. Alrighty, I've got that battery temporarily hooked up. Let's go in here and give this thing a crank, man, and see if that stock ignition is gonna work the way we wired it up. Oh man, I'm so nervous, guys. Let's see what happens. Oh, it worked, man, that worked. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, that did work. All right. All right, man, that's awesome. So that did work. I'm glad we did a little walk down of how to do that wiring on there. So make sure you guys save that little picture that I posted up and just follow my instructions there. And I know some vehicles are going to be different than the other, but a little bit of research on the F100 groups and some other stuff, you can make it work. So, all right, we'll just clean that up and tape that up and get that put back into place. Now, every bit of this other crap that went with that steering column, you can do whatever you want with it, man. You can take it like that. You can shove it up into the dash. Uh, you can depin all that crap if you want. I'm gonna cut all these plugs off. Actually, I'm not, man, because that's a heck load of plugs. I'm gonna finish cutting the rest of these off and tape up that and get rid of this big wire. We'll just tape all this stuff up. And man, we're just gonna cram it up in there and hide it with the rest of the stuff. All right, we got Michael rolling up in this. Oh, Graham Marcus here we're gonna be using on his on his job. All right, now we just need to clean up all this wiring right here. Uh, we've got all that stuff hooked back up to the ignition. All this is just extra junk that's in the way now. But we wanna clean this up so that way we don't have any uh, short any fuses or anything. So I'm just gonna clip all this crap back. Boom, cut that one. Cut both these browns. I bet both those browns actually run up to one plug also. Now, we've got this whole thing out of the way. We won't be need that anymore. Let's get this junk out, tape it up real nice and dandy. Okay, we're just gonna tape this up real good and tight and make it look pretty good so we don't got a lot of bare wires up in there. Not bare, but you know, just no protection over them. We'll tape that up like that. Now, none of this stuff is gonna be used. Again, like I said, you can depin this stuff. You can snip it, tape it all up, get rid of it. But man, there's a lot of wires there. If you start snipping all those, you might run into some issues later with them, the tape coming off and them touching each other. So just really, man, just take them, stuff them up in there, make them disappear. We're just gonna take it up, up like this, just roll it to the side, it'll be gone. Now, once we put that fuse box up in there, it'll block all that out. And we got a little light control module here too for our gauge lights and stuff. We're gonna mount them probably somewhere right there. Uh, all right. Got that. All right, see, we got that looking nice and clean. All that's going to be tucked up in there. And then, oh, crap, that zoom thing, this focus thing on this new camera is really weird. Let's see. Did that focus that in? No, made it worse. All right, you can see we got all the wiring up in there. Out of the way, we're going to, like I showed you, what this is going to be mounted up in there more flat like that. And then this is what I was just showing you on the little control module. We have that mounted to the side right there, looking nice and clean. Like it goes. All right, man, almost all of our wiring is done here on the inside. You know, the major stuff. We've got it cranking over with the ignition like it's supposed to. Um, what else? All right, the camera was acting funny earlier, so I don't remember if I actually got a clip of this for you guys, but this is what all your, okay, all this extra wiring right here is from the F100 stuff. 
We're going to deal with that later. Let's see. Um, you can see all the wiring stuffed in there from the Crown Vic. We just got it cleaned and kind of zip tied together and shoved back here in the back. That way our uh, glove box box will be able to sit back in there and all that will be back there. There's a big group of wires that's really big that's running right here behind this, running around. And then all those plugs, you know, there was like three plugs that went over here. That big plug that had like the 10 or 8 millimeter that tightened it up. All that is right here behind this. Let me see if you can see it. Yeah, right there. See, there's a clamp up in the top up here right there that held the old wiring in. I just ran it up in there and clamped it back up in there. And it runs across. You can see it right there. Runs across up in there and just clamp it to those old clamps that held all this old wiring before. And uh, so, yeah, it'll look nice and clean. From up here, you will see. Um, actually, you're going to be more up here. So you're not going to see too much of that down here, but you will see some of it. You can get your carpet. You can get a piece of carpet or a carpet will run up a little long, I think, and block that. I'm not sure yet, but all the wiring is up in there looking pretty good. We're going to, we're going to put, you can see the, the uh, fuel pump module right there. We're going to be bringing this transmission hump module back here and putting it with it. It's going to be under the seat there. But that's most of our wiring, man. So far, you see, we got that ignition working. Uh, let's see. I know I did skip through a lot of stuff, but it's, you know, it's kind of boring stuff that really, it's just self-explanatory, man. You know, you just when you start laying stuff back in, plugging up everything, making sure everything goes back where it goes. I mean, if you tore it out of the Crown Vic, man, you can figure out where most of the stuff goes back. And as far as like this plug here, I was telling you about, I'll show you on the inside where it goes up into the firewall there. See it there? And I just put some, uh, put some at seam sealer around it just to get it real good and tight and make sure we don't have no wind blowing through there. But it fits right into the firewall and it'll all be hidden up here. You won't notice none of that. Well, I think we need to get us a battery box built. So that's the plan for the day. We're gonna set up our little table right there, set us some metal on it, get a measurement of this battery and make out that box. All right, boom, battery box is done. Got it there, pretty simple. I've made several of those. All right, so yeah, we've got our ground coming in here. We've got all of our powers that needed to go together right here. I like to put them up on this side instead of this side. You never know if that thing gets twisted around a little and might touch some, uh, touch some metal. You don't want that to happen. So these right here are the wires coming from the, uh, these go to the headlights. We're gonna run those along here and it's gonna go down, go into the headlight. So yeah, we've got that done. She's turning over. What else we got going on? Not much wiring left to this, guys. This has got most of your wiring wrapped up. You've got your ignition going and everything. From here, it's on, it's fuel, you know. We're about to put the fuel tank in the bed here like we do all the other ones. We're going to cut out a hole, set the fuel tank in there, and then we're going to take our wiring from the inside here. And the one that goes back to the fuel tank, uh, I just drill a little hole in the floor. Or actually, there's several holes already in the floor with some plugs. You can use one of those if you want. Just take your plug and ID pin it because it's a really big plug and uh, you, you don't have to make that big of a hole in the floor. So I can't remember. There's maybe like, say, 10 wires that's run into that thing. So you'll just want to um, depin that thing. That way your wiring harness is much smaller. You can drill a smaller hole, shove those wires down through the floorboard right there, and it'll go under the truck. And then since we're going to be putting the hole right here for the tank, we'll just bring that wiring up there right there and it'll plug right into the back of the tank right there. No problem. Oh yeah. Also yesterday I ran uh, the wiring that needs to go up to the front to the battery for your, for your, all your truck lighting. I got all that done yesterday. I don't think I showed you guys that, but uh, yeah, that little, that group of wiring that was up here on the dash right there. Let me see if I can come in here and show you. All right, let's see if you can see. Yeah, there's the grip wiring right there. I've got it zip tied with that group. So I've just got it going around and we made another little hole right there and that pops through and that's gonna run up to the front. That was your headlight wiring, which is right here now, sitting right here. And then also it had that one that needed to go to the power. You're not gonna be able to see, I've already got it taped up and cleaned up. That's actually it right there, a little bit of red, but it comes up and runs up and goes over to your battery. And that controls all your stock F100 stuff, your windshield wipers, everything. So when we turn the key now, the truck has its headlights, taillights, blinkers, everything from its stock wiring. And then all the engine stuff is going to run off that. Okay, this video is starting to get a little long. And I feel like, man, I've walked you guys through most of the process of the wiring. Hopefully I provided enough info and enough footage here to get you guys at least in the right direction. 
Um, you know, we still got a few little things we got to finish up, but like our headlight stuff, man, that's simple. I don't have to walk you through that. That goes in, plugs back into your headlights. Um, also with that fuel tank back there, same thing. It just plugs right in and uh, you guys should be able to figure that part out. The ignition really is my main thing. Everything else is really actually pretty easy. I'm trying to think if I left anything out as far as doing the AC stuff on the inside. I mean, that's all pretty much. We're going to have that in the next video of how I finish that up. So if you guys want to see that, you can just watch the next video. But, uh, you know, that it basically it just plugs into the AC control module or whatever the heck you want to call that thing. The gauges just plug in. The radio just plugs in. The cigar lighter we're gonna we're gonna make that adapt in the next video so that's not really critical stuff as far as on the wiring but everything else is plugged up and good to go man well all right i think that's gonna wrap it up for this video guys um hopefully i helped y'all with the wiring i cut out a few things but man it's all pretty standard standard stuff and uh, if you have any questions just hit me up in the comments and i'll help you guys with it as much as i can uh, we're going to continue on finishing up Chucky's truck. The last two videos I know have been kind of lame, kind of a little dull, just doing wiring stuff, man. That's what it is. It's boring. Wiring is boring. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you guys setting to those two boring videos. And now that we got our cranking over, we're moving ahead. Next video, we're going to get that drive shaft in. We're going to do the four link stuff in the back back there, cut all that out, do the bag on bar, just get everything finished up. We'll probably finish it up in the next video, I'd say. So, uh, Come back for that next video. And uh, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. Thanks for watching the video.